you have a favorite lead tin antimony alloy that you have developed uh, for your casting your bullets and then one day you run out of one of the components or becomes prohibitively expensive what do you do now, this has been happening to people for instance in the case of wheel weights uh, they they still make wheel weights but increasingly they're not making them out of lead anymore and they're making them out of zinc so you know you got to change well if you know what your lead tin antimony mix is it's very possible to uh, take new components new uh, tin antimony and lead sources and mix them together as long as you know the right proportions and come up with the exact same mix even though there's no wheel weights for instance in there but to do that you have to calculate those concentrations so what I've done is I've created what I call a bullet alloy calculator and I'm giving that away for free it just loads up in Excel or even in Google's uh, sheets application that adds to your browser so very easy to use and what I'd like to do is just start off with showing you how it's used so there's no confusion uh, the application is very simple to use but I think you'll benefit from that but if you if you're not interested you can go straight to the end of this video and just look for my email address at the end and send me an email I'll fire you uh, off a copy of the software or the program whatever you want to call it it's an Excel worksheet and uh, you just enter in your values and you can experiment around and bump things up and down until you arrive at that that lead tin antimony uh, combination that you're looking for so uh, if you like this video and if you like the application then of course uh, buy me a coffee I got a link in the description for that or use the super thanks feature in YouTube but that said let's take a look at it on the computer okay here we are at the computer let's give this thing a look here here's what the interface looks like what I'll start off by pointing out is uh, go to your file explorer once you get the file and uh, left click on properties I recommend that you have the read only checkbox set if it isn't then check that and apply and uh, that will keep you from overriding the default values in this spreadsheet and that way when you monkey around with it and get the type of mixtures that you want then you can save the worksheet on, as a different file name and always return to the default settings of this one just in case because there are fields that could be accidentally overwritten it's an excel worksheet after all so let's get into this this uh, i'm going to make this very very simple here on the left hand side up above uh here now it's uh the we begin with the volume of the ingots used so i'm just uh putting in a default a default value for the cubic inches of a regular uh, ingot using the lyman ingot tray so you can change that if you want and it'll be applied throughout all the, the calculations but uh, that's what i recommend and then below that you know we have uh, parameters for base components that frequently vary and what I'm doing here is I'm taking the uh, case of guys who just throw in all the stick-on wheel weights together with the uh, clip-on ones into one batch, not bothering to separate them. And in fact, throwing everything in there and just letting the zinc ones float to the top, a real low effort approach. And in order to uh, work out the calculations, I just want to have a, an assumption of what percentage of the, that lead is going to be from the stick-on wheel weights and how much is from the clip-on. So uh, based on my experience, it's about 40% stick-on weights. That's your pure lead. So I put 40% there as a default. You can change that if you want, and that'll affect the calculations. Below that, we have uh, then, if you are using that kind of ingot, how many of them you, you, you want to use for this calculation. This doesn't have to be to figure out your final batch, by the way. This is just for working out over on the right hand side the final composition that you see uh, in uh, kind of a red text here uh, as you make your adjustments here this area on the right side is going to dynamically change and show you how much tin and how much antimony and how much lead you currently have in your uh, mix according to the parameters that you set so far and you can see 
by default it's set to what I prefer to be, which is about 2% tin and 4% antimony. But whatever mixture you want to have at your target, you monkey around with these figures on the left and watch the uh, calculator, what it does on the right. So let's go, we'll go down a little further and then over on the side here, we have the parameters for other alloys. And that's your standard stuff like uh, the, uh, uh, the number of, uh, of amount of pure lead ingots. And I call that either pure lead or stick on ingots made purely from stick on uh, wheel weights. Uh, you can specify that. So I, what I'm doing here is I'm taking an assumption of somebody who has no wheel weights, just using straight lead, maybe from x-ray rooms or places like that. And so we put in 63 ingots. It can be any number uh, but because it doesn't have to reflect your final batch. And then below that, I can specify a number of ingots made out of the clip-on type wheel weights if I want. And then below that, linotype super hard that alloy you can get from roto metals and then number of solder bars you can see speaking of solder bars up here on the parameters for the uh, the base components uh, i'm also letting you specify what is the percentage of tin in those solder bars that you'll be using down below here and in addition to that this is very flexible in this lower left hand uh, area here then we have all the percentages of standard metals that we can use for components. Uh, I'm giving you what is, the, I believe to be the most correct values, but if you disagree, you can change these. And one thing to keep in mind too is, uh, you're watching this video now, but you don't do this kind of stuff very often, so you might forget some things. So there's hints supplied with every one of these fields. Okay, buddies? No extra charge. <laughs> I know I got two two cells here. Hey, <laughs> okay, I have to fix that. So all these fields have descriptions, including this one here and that one. Now, what ha what's going on with that air the batch ratio calculator you see on the lower right hand side? Uh, that is to give you the flexibility while you're figuring out what what uh, the relative amounts of your components are to arrive at the uh, mix that you're looking for with how much tin and antimony and so forth. When you get that, you, you um, know what your ratios are that you have to mix, but maybe you don't have that much uh, of components or next year you won't have that many uh, uh, ingots of, let's say, 50-50 uh, solder or linotype or super hard metal. Maybe you only have uh, uh, eight bars of ingots of super hard and this formula here is for 10. Well, what you can do, you can take this and you can select any field. Let's say it's the super hard. I'm gonna have to use my glasses. It's kinda, yeah, there's the super hard. Oh, no, that's not the super hard. There it is. Okay, super hard. Let's say instead of 10, I have only 8. Then I can hit that, and you see then right down below, it will tell you uh, what all those values should be. You should have 50 and a half, 50.4 ingots of pure lead, and 0.8 of linotype based on this, and uh, 2.4 of solder the 50 50 solder bars and that will give you a total yield of 61.6 ingots so that that really helps so if you save down your worksheet with your target mixture uh, then next year when you go to make another batch you can just based on what you happen to have on hand uh, whatever is your limiting factor you know maybe it's uh, maybe it's the pure lead you don't have as much of anymore whatever it is, enter it in here, and then say, okay, uh, I've got 50, let's say, of these, and it'll give you a new uh, output for how much of the other stuff you need to make your mixture. So hopefully that helps you out a little bit. Um, if you uh, want to return to this video, uh, then take a look over here on the top uh, right-hand corner. It says uh, the Way to Native Chronicles link. That will link you back to this video, at least the better. So uh, what else to say about this? Uh, 
It's pretty straightforward. Uh, anything that's in yellow, you can change the values in. And uh, the rest of the stuff is just readout information. So uh, I hope you enjoy this application. Uh, contact me by the email address that's going to display at the end of this video. Uh, if you do appreciate it, then I certainly won't object to uh, using the super thanks feature on, on this video or uh, going to uh, buy me a coffee that's shown in the description. But uh, the main thing is that uh, we all help each other. And uh, yeah, I, I'll catch you at the next video. We'll see what we come up with next. So God bless. Did you like this video? If you did, I think you're gonna like this one right over here. So check it out. And I appreciate your subscribing if you haven't done so already. Remember to do that while you're watching this next video. Click like, it all helps us out for this channel. Catch you next time.